Hello, and welcome to this corporate course's quick introduction into technical analysis. Now in this video, I'm going to show you five different common chart patterns that you need to look out for when doing technical analysis. So the first one that we're going to talk about is called a multiple bottom. Oftentimes this will tend after a longer downtrend. You'll see the stock price starting to wear out and forming a flatline support showing somewhat of a bottom that has multiple touch points along the support, which is why it's called a multiple bottom. Now you'll also see an upward resistance which is designated by the red line and many times it will consolidate within this channel and then when it breaks out of that channel it can tend to move higher and change the overall trend. So the next one that we're going to talk about is called an ascending triangle. Now what an ascending triangle is, as you can see with the green line here in this picture, it is a movement of support trending upward so it's normally in an uptrend and then it meets an upward resistance designated by the red line where it almost flatlines across and the price starts to consolidate into this triangle. Now once it starts cons consolidating closer and closer to the head of the or the peak of the triangle, you will see it either break down past the green line, going downward or break upwards forming a rally. The next one is called a head and shoulders pattern. Now normally this happens after a longer uptrend and can be a signal of a downtrend. So what this one does is you'll have a left lower left shoulder which forms on this pattern and then you'll have a higher head that moves higher than the left shoulder and then it will see you'll see a movement downward and then another formation of a shoulder known as the right shoulder. These will all be connected together by the green line also called the neck and once it breaks past the neck it can move sharply downward and continuation with this trend. The next one that we'll talk about it's called a pennant. This one we'll oftentimes see as a price is moving upwards and the stock price kind of gets worn out because it's moving up so quickly as you can see in this picture and it will start to consolidate in price trying to figure out what it's going to do. If it breaks above the upward support level it will tend to rally higher but if it breaks below the lower support level it will tend to be a reversal of the trend and rally lower. Now the last one that we're going to talk about is a rounding bottom. So what a rounding bottom is, is it's a consolidation of price, but over a longer period of time. So you'll see the volatility kind of thinning out a little bit, and it will round off and basically consolidate in price. So you'll see it forming almost like a teacup, and basically what this does is it, is it rounds off and forms an upward level, which is the green line, and when it breaks through that green line, it can move a lot higher. Now this was just an introduction to the technical analysis. And if you like this video, go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section what videos you'd like to see or what you'd like to learn about. Thanks for watching.